Well, welcome to Reddit Collier Elementary, and I have the pleasure of being here today with Mr. John McGowan and Miss Jackson, um, the amazing guidance counselor out here. And so, happy National School Counseling Week. Mm -hmm. Thank right? you. Excited mm -hmm. to recognize all the great work happening in our schools to help every student be successful. So, Mr. McGowan, uh, share with us what that means. And sure the number of guidance counselors mm -hmm. we have and understanding for those who are not aware and haven't spent a lot of time in our schools, that role varies quite a bit it from does. elementary through middle and high schools. It does. Can you share Absolutely. some more about that? So National School Counseling Week, um, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to recognize the over 100 school counselors that we have okay. in the district like Ms. Jackson here at Reddit Collier. And um, the theme this year for National School Counseling Week is standards-based and student-focused. Mm -hmm. And that is very relevant for our counselors here um, in our district as well as around the state as the State Board of Education recently approved school counseling standards for the first time, yes. which really yes. um, reinforced the work that our counselors already do and have been doing for a long time. Right. And that is providing supports and services in three main areas, academic success, social and personal development, and post-secondary awareness. And the unique role of our school counselors is providing that service to all students on campus. So um, all students at the tier one level. And we know that a lot of our students will need uh, needs that go beyond that. And our counselors are knowledgeable to be able to um, provide them resources both within and without outside of our district for those students who need that extra support. But the real role of our school counselors is providing that support for all students on their campus. So. Right, right. So we've, we've popped into Ms. Jackson's space today. And so when we're visiting schools mm -hmm. um, for visitors that come on campus and are maybe not be aware, what might they see happening? So we talked about the standards, mm -hmm. but what might they expect to see? Because uh, I know the camera can't see this, but this the space here with books mm -hmm. and, a, and, a, and a space to, for students to be um, mm -hmm safe and be ready for conversation mm -hmm. and support what might mm -hmm. everyone expect to see so like you mentioned it varies at the at the different levels um, so um, with the academic piece um, that can be uh, welcoming new students and enrolling them to our schools um, scheduling them in the right um, with the right teachers or the secondary level the right courses making sure that they're meeting requirements for either middle school promotion or high school graduation um, the social personal um, development side a lot of our counselors um, they're master's degree level professional so they're trained to provide brief counseling to our students who need it um, and that's really key when it comes to um, to that piece is our counselors are trained to provide um, that counseling but if it goes beyond um, the need that we can provide then again we have resources that we can refer students to and at all levels the career awareness piece is really just um, having exposure for our students to what is out there yes um, a lot of times our students are only aware of a few careers mainly what their parents do yes firefighters police officers and teachers yes. and yes. so it's our role to really um, give them some exposure to everything else is out there and then help them cross that bridge to that when the time comes. I was just sharing last night um, at a town hall meeting with some folks that I was meeting with that students typically choose a field of study within about three adults around them. Mm -hmm. So if they're, they don't know what they don't know. Mm -hmm. So guidance counselors being critical and saying, Absolutely. you know, you have a high interest in this area. Here are some classes you might want to take mm -hmm. and a career opportunity for mm -hmm. you, right? Or if they're going Absolutely. to college, here, here's a pathway forward. So the scheduling piece is really important. And it is. what can we do to help support you in in uh, accelerating those interest, mm -hmm. engagement, and success in a path forward for their future, right? Absolutely. And that's critical. Absolutely, and a lot of the exposure comes from the courses that we place students in. Yeah. So, you know, for example, our career and technical education courses. So right. students may not be familiar with those fields until they're in those classes, and yes. and they, you know, they talk about those things. And then absolutely, the steps that are required then for the next level after they leave um, with our with their diploma um, that that varies. So if they're college bound students, there's a lot of things that go into that. If they're going into the workforce um, or the military, there's steps for that too yes. that our counselors can help yes. um, guide them on that path. Uh, what about the transition from elementary to middle and high school? And mm -hmm. what role does the guidance counselor play mm -hmm. in ensuring that when students move on to the next level that mm -hmm. all of that doesn't start over. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a very good point because a lot of it is on the scheduling 
side of things, so on the academic side, making sure that um, what they have taken up to that point, that it is continuing in, in an appropriate manner. Um, and then if they've been identified for any additional supports, um, making sure that that continues. Um, and, and a lot of that goes into the placement of the students, making sure that they're in the right placement. And then certainly once they make that transition to, to secondary, making sure that um, they're, they're meeting the requirements and they know what those requirements are. Right. And those conversations between those levels and the staff is really important, right, Ms. Jackson, to Absolutely. ensure that the continuity of, of the rigor and, and the mm -hmm. access. And so students can have choice. That's what Absolutely. it's about. So they have options Absolutely. and they can choose their path. And um, that's so powerful. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for all that you do. Uh, and all of your colleagues do, and the more than 100 staff members that yes. we have and support student success. Thank you for your support. Before we end today's segment, I would like to remind our parents, families, and students that Marion County Public Schools is now offering online tutoring Monday through Thursday evenings. Elementary tutors are available from 5 to 9 p.m., and secondary ELA and math tutors are available from 6 to 10 p.m. This is a free service for Marion County Public School students in third through 12th grades. To get started, log into your MCPS desktop and click on the virtual tutoring icon. You'll be placed in line to enter a Teams chat with an MCPS teacher who can help. Thank you for watching.